Three years ago, in Luffy's hometown, Kuma peeps someone training, and he's thinking, I know that ain't who I think it is. Dragon, don't tell me that's here. He interrupts and asserts, if you keep talking about this, you might as well kill me yourself. Kuma questions, what are you talking about? Dragon answers, a child is their parent's weak spot. Kuma's like, you know what, as the stepfather, no, the father that stepped up, I get it. I won't bring it up again. It's revealed Kuma heard Luffy talking about needing to get stronger so he can protect his crew if anyone tries to take them away. I see you, Oda. Cut to Kuma trying his best to help people even though he's working for the government. He writes letters to Bonnie about his adventures. Meanwhile, in Sorbet, Bonnie is standing by the mailbox because she still hasn't received a letter from Kuma. However, Bonnie's a nurse who's probably related to that cipher pole agent intercepts Kuma's letters and rips them up. <laughs> There's a pile, so we know she's done this multiple times. In Navy Science Division 8, Vegapunk seemingly figured out his pain clones. Stussy supposes who has a more checkered fate, someone that lacks free will or a clone that doesn't. Kuma notes, by the way, Vegapunk, what does the whole losing your personality actually feel like? Vegapunk discloses you not only lose your memories, but all your empathy and humanity that would stop you from following some heinous order is gone. You should retain your free will until the process is fully complete. I estimate you have around one more year. Kuma is already writing another letter. He wants to send Bonnie a lifetime worth of love before the year is over. <laughs> Did you really have to destroy Kuma's birthday letter? Did you really have to destroy Kuma's birthday letter? Hey, it's Sabo. Bonnie's cured, but Alpha's like, no, you can't go outside. It's dangerous. Connie divulges, I saw Alpha and the others in town getting drinks. They're actually government intelligence agents. It turns out you've been cured for a while, and I highly doubt Kuma wouldn't have sent you one letter by now. I've set up a ship for you to set sail. Bonnie pretends to be Connie and escapes the church, seeing the outside world for the first time. Alpha finds out after they leave, she heads directly for them. Bonnie remembers having a conversation with Kuma, asking what Nika looked like. Kuma states no one knows, but they say his body was all rubbery, as Bonnie gives her a Gear 5-esque punch. <laughs> 